Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to have a look at my Suzuki Celerio ZXI optional AMT version which I had for a year and three months. I'm selling this car off since I'm buying a Maruti Suzuki Bellino CVT automatic and I thought I would should do a review since I had this car for more than a year and let the viewers know what are the positives and what are the negatives so let's go ahead and start the review the Suzuki Celerio uh, I have is the ZXI optional model which is the high-end version it has uh, been priced at 6 lakh 10 thousand on road price but the optional model in automatics is deprived of features uh, which comes in the manual version like the fog lamps these fog lamps I have is something which I had to purchase since it, it did not come up with uh, this model and alloy wheels the top end version the automatic model does not come with alloy wheels and so I had to buy platy alloy wheels uh, each alloy wheel cost me 5600 as in these are the platy alloy wheels I had to get it since the top end model in automatic does not come with uh, alloy wheels when I purchase this and well, um, it comes with the body colored uh, door handles mirrors mirrors are not automatic uh, switching on and switching off but it can be controlled using the mirror controller inside the cabin and this car is built with the tall body design so it doesn't feel claustrophobic for tall people and it's extremely nice to get in and get out it comes with a central locking system keyless entry the top end model and it's very silent and effective till now as you can see the doors open wide and it's really good for door people to get in and get off it comes with a Suzuki AMT automated system which I would call it semi-automatic semi-automatic since uh, there is a small issue which comes up while you drive this um, AMT version cars of uh, Maruti Suzuki unlike the CVT versions when you're on uphill or starting the car on uphill or in the traffic uh, block in an uphill position you have to make sure that the car you know uh, is in the um, drive mode or neutral mode and the handbrake is on and if you don't do that the car is going to roll back on itself and which is not an easy thing to handle for rookie drivers or women drivers so that aspect of this automatic is not good enough and the second thing which comes to my mind is the power of this car it is a one liter Suzuki engine automatic engine it's good enough if you're using it without air conditioning but if you're using it with air conditioning on there's a lot of jerks when the gear switches automatically and it is not a nice feeling and if you are trying to overtake in the city you need to press the accelerator pedal high to just cut down on the gear and go and overtake and in the highways um, you know if you're in automatic mode it's not a very good feeling but if you use the manual mode of this car uh, which is uh, as I will show you now the manual mode of this car as you can see here the manual mode you can turn the manual and upshift and downshift accordingly but if you and that's something which if you find easy to use it's much more better than the automatic mode in power levels the car comes equipped with uh, Bluetooth stereo inbuilt it's got a CD drive it's got a telephone Bluetooth system and it is nice the speakers are very um, punchy and loud as well four speakers and four doors I'll show you the speakers 
this is one speaker on the front left door this is the second door my driver driver's door and there is one glove box which is good large and there are uh, storage spaces on the doors left door the storage space on the right door two bottle cup holders but the bottle cup holders are not very good for big bottles if you have a big bottle the only option is to this big bottle and in the CD system you have a cigarette lighter in and there is a USB in and there is a 3.5 M in as well and there is another option where you can use uh, the car for um, streaming your Bluetooth uh, music from your smartphone and let's look at the dial now the dial is pretty decent it's got a lot of functionalities with the camera focus camera is trying to focus but it is going to add I was almost focused so in this as you can see on the right side when you turn the right small dial you can see the average range how much more kilometers this car is going to go and there is um, the average which you get for per liter of fuel and on the left you can switch on for how many kilometers you have run and then trip meters A and B where you can set after you fuel the car and the AC vents are pretty decent uh, circular motion and uh, on the sides you can close it if you want and the, on the center is um, horizontal ones so pretty good uh, infotainment system even though there is no touch L um, LCD uh, for a top end version now I would like to talk about uh, the suspension of this car the suspension in the beginning was really very good and I could actually manage a lot of uh, comfort while I was driving through rough terrain but after using it for such a long time and not a long time one year and three months I have to say the suspension has actually gone a bit wobbly and it's not very comfortable sitting at the back so that's a big drawback what I felt that the suspension of this car is not up to the mark after using it for more than a year big drawback for me and that's something people buying this car need to actually look into and the back side of this car there is enough space for every person there is enough space for every person even for a tall person there is space but if somebody is stretching you see it like this from the front you know that the, the tall person might get a little camera and there is a good tie support but the issue here is you know it's not going to be really luxury it's going to be like a bench like seating here now let's go to the boot space I would say the boot space of this car is adequate but not good enough because the one big suitcase and you're out so all in all big suitcase and one small one is going to fit in but if you have a family big family and if you're traveling with a uh, bit more stuff it's not going to be good enough even though it has a 40 60 you know, splitter mechanism and the seats I have here are done uh, it's upholstery from my local upholstery for a price of six thousand 
since that even uh, after this car being the top end version it did not come with good you know basic uh, it did not come with good upholstery it came with very basic upholstery cloth upholstery so for me even uh, after buying this uh, top end version i would say people should be careful on these constraints this top end version when i purchased this it didn't come up with the fog lamps it didn't come up with the alloy wheels it didn't come up with good upholstery and that's something which is uh, included in the normal manual version so if you're buying this car you should be aware of it the top end version does not come with all these things you have to make sure that you purchase the alloy wheels and you know fit the fog lamps and you have to do it uh, go to an upholstery shop if you have to have better upholstery so all in all this car has been good but not um, very satisfactory but satisfactory in many other levels the uh, fuel economy i got from this car is around 13 kilometers 12 to 13 kilometers in the city i always use air conditioning and the highways i get around 18 to 19 so that is a real mileage i get from this car and today this car is going to go to the dealer and my suzuki bellino is going to come in three months time i purchased this uh, suzuki bellino cvt automatic for three reasons very robust car cvt automatic system the car is in rollback uh, if you're in a hip position even though the economy might be a bit more less the engine is a you know, beauty to actually enjoy and all these aspects made me choose the Bellino and Bellino is one of the few cars in Maruti Suzuki stable which comes with um, an CVT automatic system and my car KL1BX 7679 which is mine and my wife's date of birth has been a trustful partner till now there are there has been any issues regarding it mechanically and services have been damn cheap because it's a Maruti Suzuki and I have thoroughly enjoyed it but it was not uh, very satisfactory for a motorhead like me but in a satisfactory in many levels all in all good car but I would say if Maruti has improved a few versions like tweaking the engine power and the jerky situation with the gearbox has you know improving the gearbox ratios and uh, tweaking it will make a lot of uh, betterment to this car and the suspension I feel the suspension has to be a bit more better because after using for a year it's not very satisfactory so all in all all if all these aspects are covered and better this would be make a great choice but for people who are using this car uh, or planning to use this car sorry plan to, planning to use this car I would say if you are looking for a car which has got an automatic and a subpar power train, this is fine. And if you are not worried about too much of acceleration, or if you're not worried about too much of uh, what you call um, swift uh, overtakes, this is a good car. And it is spacious and it comes with a um, good economy as well for uh, automatic. But if you're looking for bit more powered vehicle a bit more performance and features coming with uh, the top end version of uh, other manual cars of the same kind I would say or even automatic of the same kind I would say this is not a right choice because I would say I got it for 610 but I should have got the alloy wheels and uh, upholstery inclusive but I've not received it because the Nissan Micro comes with all these things inclusive I feel that uh, Narudhi should have looked in the, uh, these details but other than that, uh, this is a fantastic car. And my suggestion is, uh, if you're going to buy the Suzuki Celeria, think about other options like the Micra, or you know, uh, the Ignis is uh, a little more better than this car. Not in terms of uh, uh, what you call uh, the right quality, but in terms of uh, the engine and the gearbox. I've test driven a Ignis, and one good thing I found was the quickness of the engine and a robust gearbox but the issue was it was rolling when I was sitting behind it in and out and it was a little more light for my liking this car even though it's um, um, like a tall body design car it is very very centered in its weight levels you can drive it like a good sedan that's one good po positive thing about this car which other models in Maruti lacks like the Wagoner or 
the ignis this car has a good way to center it and while using this on motorways or highways this is something which will give you a lot of stability and confidence so that's all i feel about this car good car but uh, it needs few improvements and if all the improvements are uh, provided by suzuki this is going to be good but uh, till that that happens people who are trying to look and buy this car please make sure that you are aware of all these things if you can cover up all these minute uh, negatives uh, then fine otherwise you know go and upgrade to a better car hope uh, this review helps you thank you bye bye